Hi everyone, my name is Anna Levesque from mindbodypaddle.com and author of Yoga for Paddling. And today I'm gonna lead you through a short warm up for your paddling trip or you could use it when you get to the takeout after you've been paddling. So here we go, we're gonna start with our right ankle and we're gonna do some ankle rolls, one direction. I'm not counting right now, but try to count to eight and then switch direction eight times. And then I'm gonna switch ankles. So eight times in one direction and then eight times the other direction. Right? And then I'm gonna come up to my head and I'm gonna do some circles and I think about drawing a circle with my nose. So eight times in one direction. I'm gonna go other direction. So nice big circles, this gets into the neck. Right, and tops of the shoulders a little bit. Right, and then come back to center. And then we're gonna do some shoulder rolls to the back. So counting to eight, this is five. And then I'm gonna take a wider stance and I'm gonna backstroke like I'm swimming. I'm gonna do this also, just for a little while, maybe eight times. And I'm gonna lead with my body. So that helps us warm up our core for paddling because remember your core moves first and your arms follow your core movement. Okay. And then I'm gonna come uh, back to center and I'm gonna do some nice twists. So twisting and I like to let go of my arms and have them hit my life jacket. This feels really good for me and my shoulders and my biceps also warms up the core for core rotation and engagement. So I'll do that about 16 times. And then come back to center and I'm gonna do some side stretching. I'm going to trace my thumb all the way up into my armpit, back and forth. This feels excellent for the side body, which Especially in whitewater kayaking, we use a lot for edge control, the hip snap, but we also use it for stability in stand-up paddle boarding. So it's really important to stretch out the sides back and forth. So now come back to center and we're going to put our hands on our thighs and we're going to stick our butts out like we're booty dancing, hollow out the back, come down, and then as we come up, we're going to round the spine. So we're doing some flexions and extensions of the spine. Really good for our back health. Okay. So do this about eight times. And then we're I come back to center. Let's come back to center, put our hands on our hips. And we're gonna do some nice hip circles. This should feel really good and do it eight times on one side. And then we're gonna switch direction. And then we're gonna bring our feet together, knees together, put our hands on our knees and do some little circles with our knees. And then switch direction. And then we're gonna bring our hands together, clasp, and we're gonna do some rotations with our wrists, one direction, and then do the other direction. And then we just shake it out, just shake it out. Just get your body ready. And now you feel ready for your day on the water. And you've gone through all of the major joints of the body help to warm up the muscles with some movements and you're ready to get on the water.